Hey hey everybody, it's Overkill here, and today's tutorial is going to be on the Dark Angels. So, uh, what we're going to be focusing on, of course, is the Tactical Marines, and in the tutorial I show you how to paint power armor and every other bit of this marine. So sit back, enjoy, and I hope you learn something. So for the first step for this model, you're going to want to, of course, paint the most prominent part of the chapter, uh, of this chapter rather, and that is their dark green power armor. So we're going to be using Caliban green for this, and you just want to apply this all over the model. Now on camera, it's going to be kind of hard to see this color as it is quite thin and very dark, um, but it is a very thin paint, so you're definitely going to want to water it down and make sure you take your time and apply it in multiple coats. Um, because then you'll have a solid green color uh, where you can then build upon that to get the desired effect later. So the next base coat we're going to be applying is corn red. Now this is going to be going on the uh, case for the gun and uh, purity seals. So you just want to of course have this thinned down so that you don't clog any detail and be careful not to get it on the armor. It's not too big of a deal, you can just go back over it with Caliban Green, but it's going to take a couple of layers where Caliban Green is such a thin color. So yeah, you want an effect like that. Um, you just want to, of course, do a couple of layers. But we're also going to have to paint the eyes with this color. So you want to grab your smallest brush. And you want to make sure the paint is nice and thin so that you have full control of it. So now with the corn red applied, we're going to now do our third base coat, which is Zandri Dust. Now I'm going to be switching to uh, the Sergeant model here because he has a bit more detail on him and the rest of these steps apply more to this model um, than most of the generic tactical marines. But now we're going to be using Zandri Dust and we're going to be painting his tabard with this and also any uh, purity seals on any of your other Dark Angels marines. Um, such as ones like this will be painted with Zandri dust as well. So now we have the Zandri dust applied, we are going to go ahead and base coat uh, Raphael's flesh. And now for this, we are going to use Bugman's Glow. We're going to be applying this, of course, to his, his entire head. Now, be careful as to not apply this too thick. Um, as there is quite a lot of detail on this model um, in his face, so be careful not to apply it too thick. Uh, make sure you use plenty of water to get the paint nice and thin. And um, if you feel like you need to apply a second coat, of course go ahead, because that is always better than the thick, uh, the first thick coat. So now that we have the Bugman's Glow applied, uh, I did go ahead and do half of a layer of Cadian Fleshstone, the uh, the video clip uh, cut out halfway through. But basically what we're doing is we're doing a layer over all of the Bugwind's Glow with Cadian Fleshstone because we're going to be doing a Reichlin shade after and that's going to tone it all down and mend these two colors together. So you want to apply Cadian Fleshstone over all of the Bugwind's Glow areas except for the de deepest recesses. So now with that skin done, we're going to go ahead and continue on with another one of our base coats which is going to be Lead Belcher. And this is going to be going onto all of the metal areas. So definitely on the chain sword, uh, the chain sword teeth here, um, the metal parts here, the metal bits of the plasma gun, and of course in the vents of the power pack. And yeah, generally just wherever you see metal bits, that's where it's going to be going. So now for this next step, we're going to be painting all of the gold areas on the sergeant. Mostly uh, these little emblems here. This, um, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but this little bit here. And of course, uh, the little skulls up here. So we're going to be just doing a nice layer of Balthazar gold onto those. And you definitely want to be careful not to get this onto the other areas of the model so that you don't have to go back and cover it up. So now with the gold done, we have two base coats left to do, and that is Mornfang Brown on this rope here, 
and then McCraig blue for the plasma gun. So we'll go ahead and get those done and then we'll move on to the next step. All of the base coats applied, we are going to go into the wash stage. You're going to need five washes for this model and those are Bealtan green for the power armor, Drakenhof nightshade for the plasma gun, Nuln oil for the red bits and the white, Reichland flesh shade for the flesh and gold, and Agrax earth shade for the Xandri dust painted bits. I also went ahead and painted the um, shoulder pad bit and up here with Mechanica standard gray. These are going to be white areas. So now with all the washes dry, we're going to go back over with the original colors and re-highlight the areas we just washed. So we're going to be putting Caliban Gris on the power armor, we're going to be putting Xandri Dust on the tabard, Balthazar Gold on here, Mornfang Brown there, uh, Lead Belcher on the silver, and Corn Red on the red. So we now have all of the original colors highlighted up, so now the next step is to paint the white areas, mainly the chapter symbol here and the wings on this bit on his power pack and we're going to be using Ulthwan Grey for that and you just really want this paint to be watered down so that it just you have full control over it because if you go crazy with this it's going to be very hard to cover it back up with your other colors due to it being so bright so you just want to go over all these white areas being very careful to not get it on the other colors and of course you will have to do multiple layers of this since you're painting a thin white onto a darker color so just take your time and make sure you have a great result in the end. so now with the white applied you can see that it's brightened up the wings and the chapter symbol so now we're going to go ahead and apply a new layer to the plasma on the plasma gun we're going to be using Altdorf guard blue for this step and that is just going to be a simple highlight on the plasma coils now you want to be careful with these areas because they're quite small you just want to get a nice highlight there it may not seem it's it's it is quite minimal um, so you may not be able to notice it but it does lighten up the the area a bit and so with that, the model is essentially finished. Most of the colors, well, actually all of the colors have been applied and highlighted at least once. Um, so if you're just going for a tabletop standard, this is definitely it. So there's one more step that I want to do with uh, Sergeant Raphael, and that's I want to add some more um, some more detail to his, to his head, basically. Uh, and we're going to give him stubble. So this is going to be a little bit of a tutorial for stubble as well. Um, so basically what I did was... Uh, or what you do is you mix your highest well your last highlight of flesh which in this case would be Cadian flesh tone with gray black brown any color that you want in this case I, ch I mixed it with Abaddon black and you pour and you mix a lot of water in with it and what this creates is a very thin paint that when applied to flesh and given time to dry will leave you with a stubble effect you're just going to apply this all over Sergeant Raphael's head. Of course, paying attention to where hairlines actually end so that it doesn't look too ridiculous. And what you'll get in the end is a very nice stubble effect. So you definitely, of course, want to get it up to there. And yeah, once you do this enough, you'll see as it dries, it creates a very nice stubble effect. And there we have it, a finished Dark Angels Sergeant. Now, the effect of the stubble didn't come out quite as I would have wanted. Um, I think the color might have been a bit too dark. I should have put a bit more flesh and watered it down a bit more. But, you know, the effect is still there. Um, of course, it doesn't look as good as what I wanted to show you. But you can see the effect that it, we were going for and you can see especially on on the top of his head it's a bit too like it's too flat almost but that has been the dark angel sergeant tutorial i hope you enjoyed and hopefully you guys um enjoyed as well or i hope you enjoy hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and uh hopefully if you have dark vengeance or dark angels in general this tutorial helped you a little bit 
But anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.